so it's um, Monday, <clears throat> 20th August, 2018 at 2.05am, uh, two, two so I'm going to get ready to go to the Psychologist. Oh, the pimple in the middle. So yeah, I I wasn't feeling too good today. Well, in the morning I got up and I was very quite hyper. <laughs> I was I was laughing a lot and I was. Ugh. Then I thought, uh oh, if I'm laughing a lot and if I'm very hyper, I know I'm gonna get a down period. So I was quite hyper and I was laughing a lot at my jokes, like just thinking and laughing about stupid things. And um, I took a shower and then suddenly I became depressed. I've been. So I've been feeling a bit depressed since I took a shower. I procrastinated on my uh, preparing the veggie stew and maybe that's what the depression is like. Oh, I guess I just felt like, oh, I just can't make this veggie stew right now and I just felt depressed. Uh, <clears throat> so that was my day. I feel depressed because I, I um, well, there are a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons is I feel like I'm failing to live up to my, um, to stick to my schedule. I'm, I feel like I'm failing to do my self-care daily routines. And that's making me feel depressed. I feel like I'm always putting things off, procrastinating, saying, okay, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. That whole perfectionism thing. And I've been. Any more? Yeah. I'm going to get 2.30. Yeah. So my mom, my mom just came and I was like, I tried calling her. I was like, where are you? But she came and so that was good. Uh. Anyway, so yeah, you know, like I feel like I'm not living up to my standards of self-care I've set for myself and that's making me depressed I'm failing to live up to the standards of self-care I set for myself maybe it's too maybe I'm so having very high expectations but I'm seriously I mean it's like <sighs> so anyway Tomorrow I get to go to the Catholic Church. So I've been seeing, watching lots of videos on Catholic converts and Catholicism. Uh, you know, watching lots of videos on that. So yeah, and I've been listening to this audio book which I you know, bought a while ago. It's about how, how to find God in your loneliness or something about that. I forgot the exact name. But, no, it's, it's for like single women. And, uh, you know, it talks about like how in the evening is the loneliest time. And, and um, you know, what do you do? And uh, sort of like know how you can uh, rely on God and things like that so it's kind of um, I, I, I like listening to it I don't know whenever I listen to these Christian things I always feel more human like I feel like I'm I can feel empathy and because this world this you know, the secular world is very um, inhuman, you know, people are always like after themselves and everyone's so cynical. So when I listen to these Christian people speak, I feel 
oh, I feel human, I feel empathy, I feel kindness and compassion. And then, um, so there is something there, there is a truth there in Christianity. Oh, there is something there. Yeah, so I, I, I sent an email today morning to confirm my appointment tomorrow. So I will be meeting this person. Uh, in, you know, in the local Catholic church. I don't know what exactly. I think I'll be, I want to start that RCIA program, that the right of Christian initiation of adults. So... I think that's how you, I, I think I might have enrolled in one of those before, maybe when I was my late teens or the 20s, I might have started one of those. Then I went, didn't go through with it. So I have tried to be a Catholic before, but I think, I think when I was earlier, I didn't, I didn't really understand it that much. But now I've got a better understanding of what this is. When I was younger, I was, you know, very confused, didn't feel lost. And I still feel lost, but I think I've got a little bit more life experience and you know knowledge perhaps. Yeah, you know, maybe and maybe it's possible that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> maybe I know a little more what I'm doing. <sighs> yes it's possible. It is possible. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I want to spend time reading books more. And uh, I saw this video by this Catholic. I don't know, the Archbishop or something. His name is Fulton Sheen. So he made this video in 1956, it's about how to train your mind or something. Um, it's a pretty good video. Oh, my computer just restarted for some reason. It crashed. I don't usually turn off my computer. It just stays on like for days. So maybe that's why it stopped. I don't know. It's called How to Improve Your Mind, Archbishop Fulton Sheen, originally broadcast in 1956. He's a, he's a, good, uh, he's a good speaker and, he, and, he, and he's talking about like reading a book, uh, he's talking about the low brow and the high brow and uh, like, I don't know, you gotta see the video as well, like, you know, he's, when you read a, what do you call it? temperance? Oh, sorry, I always I tend to spit. Temperance is what you need. You need to, you don't want to be like too high minded and you don't want to be like not uh, cultivating your mind at all. So it's like, it talks about taste. Uh, it's like you taste the various uh, books or material and chew, you chew on it. <laughs> this is this eating metaphor. So then you finally digest it. And you, 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 you know, think about the book and, the, and the, you know, have your own thoughts. So first you absorb what the reader is, uh, author is saying and then you think about it and you have your own thoughts. And uh, you know, anyway, it's a pretty good video. Um, inspiring. It makes me ins it makes me inspired to educate myself uh, and take the life of the mind seriously because uh, you know this is why truth is important because if you don't believe there is such a thing as truth it's hard to have find the motivation to teach yourself because you're like oh what you know I don't know I just find it difficult to learn anything if there is no um, invaluable knowledge you know if if, if, this, if it's all just preference and interest and like ugh, i just can't be bothered you know so yeah having i need to cultivate faith in 
the idea that there is an objective truth, an objective reality, and it can be known. And you know what? You know what divine revelation is. Divine revelation is the idea that you know, by human reason alone, we can only obtain so much knowledge of reality. And divine revelation is what God tells you what reality is that uh, you can't really know with uh, human reason alone. So in the Bible, it's like God reveals who He is, you know. Because uh, why do we, why are we the way we are? Why do we have these things of justice and morality? Why is there such a thing as morality? Why does morality exist? Um, morality is not just like this, you know, these days it's all about utilitarianism and it's all like evolutionary biology, but I don't know, I don't think that's just enough because uh, there's always this feeling, this idea that no, it's not always selfish and it's not like... There are some things which are like principles and people die for these things and why would someone do something like that? Is it just pride or is it something else? It's... I don't know. So anyway, um... Yeah, that's what, that's what uh, like... If you if you try to understand this by human reason, it's like maybe maybe the only thing you can come up with is like everyone's selfish and it's evolution. But uh, I guess if you allow for the possibility of there being God and He says this is how He is, like you know He reveals Himself in Jesus Christ, and Jesus is like this person who has these values. And if God is like that, then, you know, and he created us in his image, then maybe that's why we have these morals. Um, it's not just evolution. Maybe we have certain morals because we were created in God's image. And hence we can, uh, we have this innate need to behave in a certain way or, you know, I'm just ranting, rambling right now, but <sighs> no. Anyway, so it's two seventeen. I'm just wearing it. You know, I haven't worn this jumper in a while. I'm just wearing that. You know, it's scared. I haven't worn it in a while, and yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna go now. Yeah. All right, so finish my appointment. <sighs> talked a lot about uh, well I talked about my sleeping problems and I talked about my problems with feeling rejected uh, by like people don't like me and I feel rejected and you know it's you know my sensitivity to rejection I feel like people don't like me I interpret things like I am unlovable uh, I am not worthy of being loved. Like, this is my uh, core belief. My core belief is I am unlovable and I'm not, you know, people don't like me and so I interpret any kind of behavior which, you know, I can get triggered and I can go into this very painful experience of rejection and feeling unloved and it is such a painful experience and I can get triggered very easily whereas you know if I think more positively uh, or you know anyway <laughs> so talk a bit about that <sighs> Anyway, I'm going to go home now.